Hi, this is Ed Gregory for photosincolor.com and today I'm going to show you how to correctly add copyright information to your images in Lightroom. Okay, so copywriting your images is vitally important because now as we know images are all over the internet. Your photographs are pretty much guaranteed to get there and people might steal them, try and sell them or do something else. So keeping your information, not only so that you can claim an image in the future, but sometimes people might, people might find your image and want to buy them from you. And if they can't find you or know where the image came from, how are they going to pay you? Okay, so it's really important to get it in there. But copywriting is not merely writing copyright on the bottom of your image. I actually don't think you should do that because it kind of ruins the image, apart from certain situations like if you're a stock photographer. Um, so where do you put your copyright information? Well, it goes inside the image. If you were to imagine this is your photograph, just like this. So what you see is this, just like a book on a bookshelf, you see this. But hidden inside there is loads of information, okay? So in there it's the make of the camera, the lens that was used, all sorts of things. You can also input the information from the models that were there, but also you can put your copyright information. So using the correct program, like Lightroom, also a lot of online tools that we'll be using in a moment, you actually, can look inside the image and see all that information and find out who owns the copyright of an image. So let's look at Lightroom and let's have a look at how to do that. So here we are, we're in Lightroom and we have this photograph here. I shot this a few months ago. Now, we have to be in the library module and then if we scroll down here, we're gonna look at something called metadata or metadata. Okay, and as default, okay, it gives you this, I'm gonna close down the other things so that you can see what I'm looking at here, okay? So essentially what it does is it gives you this information here. It tells you the file name and then it gives you this amount of information. But there's actually a lot more information stored. But what you can see here is I actually have copyright information written into the file. And this is how we do it. So you could literally type it in here, okay? So you could do um, copyright your name, okay? And then that's now done. But then you've got to do that to every single image. What you need to do is build a preset, okay? I have a number of presets here. So for example, for my clients in Color Studio, if I click on this, it changes the copyright to the studio, okay? But I'm gonna do photos in color, and here is all of this information. So let's have a look how we actually edit this. Go into edit presets, and this is what you're going to have here. Okay, so if we go uh, to the photos in color one, this is what it is. Okay, so we have the copyright. Now, you'd want to write copyright your name, all rights reserved. To create the copyright symbol, it's option G or Alt G maybe on a PC, not quite sure, but that's what it is on a Mac anyway. Or go online and copy and paste the copyright symbol, and then do that. The next thing is the drop down. Hit copyrighted there, and then write in rights and terms, all rights reserved. If you select public domain, that means that your image is in the public domain and you can never claim it back. It's now gone, okay? So I would suggest maybe not doing that unless very specific reasons. The next thing is copyright URL. Put in somewhere that somewhere so that people can go to a website to find your information that they can contact you. Now, I also do the IPTC creator, which basically is who I am. So I do my name, I do the city and country that I'm from, I even have a phone number in there, and I have an email address, and I have, again, I have the website. So loads of information that I can put there. Now I also add caption, and I actually use my website in the caption. That's because if somebody uses my photograph on their website and they have a caption, this is what will appear, so they can always find a way to come back to find the, the photo. You can also add in some keywords, but I'll do another tutorial on keywording, and then you hit done, okay? And then all you have to do, you can select as many photographs as you want, so let's have a look at this one, okay? This is all very different, but if I come in here and select preset, photos in color, it's now gonna add in the correct information, okay? So when you've done that, now what? 
Okay, well, what you want to do, it all gets added on import or export. That's when it actually goes into the file. So for example, on exporting, command shift E to bring up the export. We're gonna go for my digital portfolio sizing, all metadata in this section here. Make sure that's included. You could just include the copyright if you want, but I always include everything, keywords and everything. Um, so then we're gonna hit export and I'm gonna put this on the desktop. Okay, so that's gonna export up here. So over here, this is the image. Now, if we come over here to this, this website called metapix.com, M-E-T-A-P-I-C-Z.com, okay? Then all you need to do is drag and drop this image into there, okay? And then it's gonna tell you what information is embedded inside the file. And now we can see all of this information is there, Okay, it's got your ISO, it's got the time, the date, your F, stop, everything, make of the camera. But under copyright, it has Ed Gregory, all rights reserved, right there. And that means that people can definitely find out who owns the copyrights on that. And also, if we to scroll down, we can also see right here, ed at photosincolor.com and the email address just here and the website, sorry. So people can always find out who owns this photograph. And that means that in the future, I can claim this image back. Now, also in Lightroom, just as something to remember, is when you import a photo, so let's come to import here, you can just add it right then. Over on the side panel here, you have something apply during import, metadata, and you can select whatever it is there and it will get added in on the import, meaning you won't have to remember to add it when it's in here. And that is essentially how you add your copyright information to your image in Lightroom. Now, if you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up and definitely subscribe as I have loads more videos coming up soon and I am gonna be moving into Photoshop soon. Anyway, so, Give me a thumbs up, give me a like, any questions or comments, get, drop them below or over on photosincolor.com. But this was Ed Gregory for the website that I just said about five times. But I'll say it one more time, photosincolor.com.